What is up guys, Tommy here. It is now 6.30 in the morning. And today, because the reason I'm up this early is because I am going on a special trip today. I'm going to travel all the way to Bristol and back. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing, that's what I'm vlogging today about. My time in Bristol and my travel there and back. It's going to be interesting because I'm going to go, there, going to go there one way and then I'm going to go back by London. Well, let's get going. Just pulled up into just pulled up into the station and gonna go, gonna get. I need to catch the eight o'clock train. Just gonna get a ticket first and then I can get started. Since I have a bit of time to, kill, my train isn't for another half hour, so I have a bit of time to kill. It'll give me a chance to just go into this go into this Tesco's and get me some snacks for the trip, of course. Luckily, this this Tesco opens 24 hours. The most awkward part is, I had to get up really early in the morning just to make sure I'm here on time. Because apparently, my near, from where I live, my nearest train station is like 20, 20 mi over 20 miles from where you live. Which is kind of annoying really, isn't it? But luckily, I can drive. If you were on a bus, I'd be very late. <laughs> anyway, give me a sec. Yeah, I'm all good to go and i still got like i got less than 30 minutes to go. Which is a good thing. Yeah, I have a bottle of water, bottle of water, some sandwiches, and seven volumes of manga, just to keep me, keep me entertained. The only other time I read these manga books is, not at home, but on travel trips, because the funny dark thing is, when you've got, when you've got a phone like this, you can't get you can't get you can't get internet access. So. And besides, the train the trains don't have Wi-Fi connection either. So that's the other boring part. And as I go off on this adventure today, you guys are coming with me, not physically, but through this. So <laughs> hope you enjoy the trip. I also forgot to mention. Of course, it is now almost Christmas time, and the worst, which means it's like a cold winter. It is a cold. It is cold in the middle of December. I got this week off from work. Got this week off for work for a last day request, and I thought, you know, risk, you know, it'll be a good good chance to get to a trip. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time. For quite a while now, I wanted to be. Go I wanted to go to Cornwall. You know, the long trip, new experience. But I want to make today my best day. Right. There's the train station. Right. Just sitting in whole station on the platform ready for my train to become. Got my ticket. And now I'm, I can just sit back and wait and relax with the whole journey, I guess. <laughs> well, my train's arrived. Let's get on board. Okay. Right now I'm in Sh 
Sheffield where I have to change trains because it's not, it's not possible for the one train I'm on to get all the way to Great Bristol. I'm changing from the Northern Rail to a, to a cross country service which will take me straight all the way to Bristol without any other changes. So, the train doesn't arrive, arrive for a while so I'm going to have to do some. I'll have, a, I'll have a walk around Sheffield while I'm in our place. So I'm on the train and it's not very pleasant. It's hard for me to read this with all this with all the noise that's going on in here. And yet I'm stuck here for almost two hours. Two hours of all this. This trend's going. Here I am in Bristol. The train I just got off. That's going all the way to Plymouth. So, let's check out the town. Well, here I am, Bristol. I have to tell you, it's so amazing. I've travelled all the way from East Yorkshire all the way to Cornwall. 500 miles almost. 500 miles and travelling. It's a lot. This is like the third most farthest journey I've ever travelled to. First was, first was France, of course, but I don't know if I can count that. <laughs> but. So far, just entering the place, it doesn't seem like there's much to do. So, I'm going to go further into the town and 
see what's see what's see what's there. Travelling further into the Bristol centre, the place seems a bit dull for me. This place doesn't, doesn't look so good, so I'm gonna you know try and go further in. If not, I'll ditch this town and go somewhere else. I've only been here for like 10 minutes and I looked around, there's just nothing interesting about this place. The only thing I found interesting was these canoe canal boats. You know what? I think I've, I think I'll go to Reading, you know, try that out. Besides it's on it's on the way back anyway, so Alright, if I don't see anything if I don't see anything good on my way back. I'm skip I'm gonna go to Re I'm gonna go to Reading or somewhere else, I don't know. I'm sorry, Reading. It's not pronounced Reading, it's pronounced Reading. So apparently my dad lied to me. Saying Bristol was a good place to go. Well I've been around I've been all over and yet there's just nothing fun about this place. All I see is like offices and run down, you know, people things are still in construction. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to go somewhere else. St I'm not spending another hour in here. I'm not spending another five hours in this place. I decided to go to Reading because you know it's a long it's a long way home for my ticket. My ticket was my ticket back home will still be valid by that route. So it's no violation. I mean it's on the route. So basically, as long as you can go further down your know, route line, it's still valid. station's amazing. It's like modern anyway. My dad said that this place was bad. And look at that. Progress on electric on electrifying. Sort of on electrifying the line. Okay, so <clears throat> Okay, so I've just been I've just been from halfway through the town so far. And I have to say, this place is so great! It's so much better than but it's so much better than Bristol. I should have I should have gone here in state. Why didn't I? <laughs> I mean there's like these good shops. Good fashion, you know what I mean? It's so quiet as well. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm gonna give a little explore and I'm I might go and my next stop after this is London. So, stay tuned. Now, I'll tell you, I've had quite a good time here in Reading. It makes me wish I lived here. You know, so quiet, so spaceful, much tidier as well. More like a mod, like a modern town should be. So now, just to finish my journey off. I'm off to London. Stay tuned. Wow. Just like her. Okay, guys. If, if all of you have met me for the first time, there are two.
two things you should know about me that I love. Trains and Pepsi. Lots and lots of Pepsi. Unfortunately, I am a big Pepsi addict. I don't know why. It started out as Coca Cola because a long time ago when I was like uh, when I was a child, before twelve years old, my mum my mum and dad forbid me from drinking Coca Cola or Pepsi ever again because it made me hyperactive. As I got older and I was earning, I'd sometimes secretly buy some of this while they're not watching. And when I turned sixteen, they couldn't stop me anymore. <laughs> one can a day, I'll see. Depending on the situations. Another fact, another fact about me, I love anime and manga. And I also have a bit of a sweet tooth for snacks. day for me. A chance to get away from work and to travel. It's what I love doing the most. I have to say this is one of the best days of my life and I am never going to forget it. I really like to thank you guys for watching this video. But just so you know, it doesn't stop here. There's still more. There's still London I'm sure. Yeah. Here. Things have not changed. The last time I was here, not much has changed. I mean, it's almost the same as. It was almost the same as I remember it. All this construction everywhere. There's no end to it. Well, at least I'm out of that big crowd. I'm going to wait until the crowd dies down a bit before I take the underground. <laughs> and right over there, Big Ben. 
I tell you, it's been a good day so far. Apart from the long travelling and that terrible time in, <laughs> in Bridley. Do you know what it's called again? Bristol, sorry, yeah. <laughs> After that terrible time in Bristol, I'd say it was worth making the trip to Reading and then here to London. Look at that London eye. You end. Wow, look at all these stores. This wasn't here last time. I have to tell you, those underground, that underground, I was so deep down in the underground, it was so boiling in there, it was like an oven. <laughs> well, you know, when I come out of the top, I feel like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so glad to be alive again. <laughs> well, I was never going to get out of there, to be honest. Not much happening up here. Time to move on. <coughs> As you can see, it's one hell of a night. You know, seeing all these people with the cup, seeing all these couples around, it makes me jealous. Wish I had a girlfriend. We want that. Right, uh, <clears throat> my time in London is almost up. Just had a McDonald's, and I'm ready for the final journey back to, back to Hull. Making my way to the station now. But then again, I've like an hour, so. a little while, we'll be passing the place where I work, Heron Foods. Here it comes! There it is, Heron Foods Industrials. That's where I work. My journey's end, my train journey's end, but however my journey is far from over. I now have to drive all the way back to Patrington, which is going to be a bit of a bummer. <laughs> you come, you come, <clears throat> you come, you, you come back to your part, you come back to your part of the country after visiting another part. But so amazing. Apart from the terrible town Bristol, didn't mean to swear, sorry. Apart from the terrible town Bristol and the few terrible train rides, I think it was an okay day. Being one part of the being from one part of the country to another, the northeast to the southwest. <laughs> it's not every day people do something like that. Well, <clears throat> my video ends here today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this mar marvelous journey, and thank you for watching. <laughs>